Hello, thank you for joining me today and we're going to make a standing donkey. I did a wee bit of um, prep last night in that I just cut out the body, um, the body shape and I cut it out from a piece of clay five centimetres thick and I left it to dry slightly overnight with just a cotton cloth over the top. Because we're going to add legs to this donkey, we'll probably need to, do, you know, if you're making it at home, you probably would need to plan to make it over at least three days or three sessions. Just because the trimming of the legs needs to be done after the legs are dry slightly. Um, you know, there needs to be some drying time allowed for in between. So I have cut the, the body, using the template, I've cut the body out of five centimetres thick clay. I have also cut the head, using the template, out of a three centimetre thick slab. And again, left it to dry slightly um, overnight underneath a cotton cloth. Okay. So we will start with the, the head, getting the, the detail of the head um, on. So the first thing we'll, we'll do is along that main line, where the main would be, if we just give it a wee bit of a pinch, all the way along. Oh, I'm just realising I've got the lights on. It's got very dark here because it's pouring down rain. Hold on a second. Maybe better. So what I'm doing is just along that main line, I'm just pinching that in slightly. And that comes just forward slightly as well. So if, it, if when you pinch it, it ends up too high, just actually take wee bits off. Okay. And then you'll have, um, if you have a ridge like that, then you just soften that ridge in. And then I'll take it and where the throat, the gullet would be there, I'll just pinch that in slightly. And when you're making a donkey, one of the things to remember is the differences between a donkey and a horse. So two of, two of the most noticeable differences, apart from the length of the ears, are that a donkey's neck is really quite straight and is, is very, it gets wider slightly where it meets the body, but a horse's neck would tend to be um, it would be more of an arch there. So the donkey's neck is quite straight. And also with the donkey's back, the back is very straight. Um, so it's important to remember those, that those, the, you know, if it stops looking like a donkey and more like a horse, ask yourself, does it have that uniform neck? Does it have a very straight back? Okay, so we've softened the gullet and we've softened pinch down soft and mean so we'll turn to the front so what we're going to do is just pinch in from you should have a very clearly defined brow if you like forehead and when it narrows down to the muscle we'll just pinch that in and pinch that right round to the nose so we're pinching so we're going to pinch from the eyes round to the, the jaw and you'll see so roughly halfway between the eyes and the bottom of the nose is going to be this jaw this, this um, half circular jawline so we'll just pinch that in the whole way around tomorrow um, at half ten I'll do a wee video of the donkey's head over the wall. So 
it will be a lot easier because all you're doing is really it'll be the same as this digging the donkey's head and then we'll create a wee stone wall which is really good fun so I'm just pinching that in I don't know how much of that you can hear that ring right now oh dear right so I've pinched in the nose now I'm going to narrow it a little bit more um, just by stroking from where I know the nostrils will be to create a bridge of the nose just up towards the eyes maybe try it and try and keep your thumbs parallel that's why I've got the same pressure I'm just making that more symmetrical because it's quite really flat Yeah. Similar to the way we've pinched and pulled along the bridge of the nose, I'm going to do a very similar movement underneath the jaw. So almost creating the same shape but underneath. And Um, when you've done that, it's a good idea to take your template and put it against um, the clay head you've created. Just because we've done it for, done it for a bit of modelling there, just with our hands, and it's very easy to have lost the basic shape underneath it all. So I'm just taking away extras in there. there. So from beneath, we should have, you see that angle up there? So we should have the bridge of the nose fairly level and then coming out from the bridge of the nose, out to where the mouth would be. Oops, just made three hands at this point. And then back in. So not exactly a diamond shape. With a flat panel at the top and a flat panel at the bottom. And this should come in right to where the mouth is and then back in. And I will just take this wee tool and just clean it off. And just so one of these wee tools here, if you've got a wee wooden tool like that. And so in the centre, it's going to be centre of the nose, so I'm just pressing in the centre line there. And then, and with this wee tool, you can just make a wee cup upwards. And the nostrils are like, almost like back to front six. And I'm going to say, Lifted slightly. You can add a wee sausage of clay on around the outside of the nostril. And then the nose is, if you, could, if you run back from the nose parallel to the bridge of the nose to underneath where the mound is, you'll have, a, you'll have the eye clearly marked on your template. So you can take your template and just push in. So you can um, at this stage, apply your template over the top of your donkey, make sure it's lined up with the clay, and then just with the back of the paintbrush, push through the, the eye. That's really just to give me the placement of that eye. 
and I'll just put the other eye and nostril in. I'll just just check it from the front to check whether this is staying high. Too high in the side, too high in the From my foot down, it won't go back. Just feel that eye. Just want to make sure those eyes are on the same level, there's one higher than the other. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'll just, now you might need to add a wee bit of clay on, but I'm going to just take a wee bit off there to bring that in. So the highest point's at the eyebrow, just over the eye, and then it'll go in down the mouth or toward the ears. Um, And then if you look where you have the eye and not this main bit but the back of the skull there, if you go about halfway, join that to your jawbone. And you can put a wee bit of clay away there. Just the neck. So you should see from the one of the templates I gave you with the planes that there's um, almost like a slight triangular raised bit here. I'm going to add a wee bit of clay on here and it needs to be very clearly lower not, uh, well it depends how thick your clay, if you feel like your clay isn't quite thick enough you can add on a D-shaped piece of clay here. And also in the template you'll see that there'll be a, um, a raised part there for the teeth. But by getting that almost diamond shape from beneath, you should have um, some of that shaping already there. So what I've done on one side, I'll just turn around and do on the other side. So just put my eye in. Just make sure it's high. Your eyes are the same level as the start. So we're halfway between this rising eyebrow, if you like, and the back of the head. Just there. That D shape. It doesn't go right up to the eye. There. All that could do is leave an extra clay on there. I'll just take a little bit of clay back in there. Just to create the, the gullet area. And because I've noticed this wee area is a wee bit dipped, I will add on a little bit extra clay to pull that out. Just so I know that it needs to be like a D shape 
and I've marked that on your template. Just the last. Keep my leave it here. The ears are going to go there, so I'll just leave it away. Just do one side over the other. Little on the donkeys because it's, it's mainly fluff and fur. Um, they, they can have quite a fluffy area here on the forehead, much more raised than it would be on a horse. So I'll just have to fluff that. So you can cut two triangles that I have um, put on your template. So the triangles would be this shape there. So this shape is the goes above the eye, and this shape is the cheekbone. You may not need that. It depends how much how thick your clay is. So I've just pressed right flattened a wee bit I'm going to put it on and then trim it to shape but if you're unsure of what you're doing then you just use, use the template and take the guesswork out of it and keep it full above the eyes and then just keep the pencils on it and there's always a slight that comes into a slight V here, just when you're blending them. I reckon that's too thick, so I'm just going to take a bit of that off. So where I pinched, I probably haven't been enthusiastic enough with my pinching. So I can just take some off and then leave a little bit of a mean. Don't just don't have a very thick neck, so just watch your neck doesn't become too thick. So I'm just having a wee look now that I have this fluffy forehead on. I'm just having a wee look of saying that this side seems thicker, so I'll just put a wee press it in. And I So I just feel that that cheekbone isn't well enough defined, so I'm going to add a wee bit extra color on there for that. So the most important part of that is we are area down here that it almost um, looks like a right angle nearly, where that straight jawbone comes down. So I am going to add a bit on that I need that to be quite straight looking, blended from next to nothing above the eye and then becoming more prominent. Um, so 
a nice straight line but it doesn't extend right to the eye there's a bit of a gap behind the, the from the front I'm much happier and you see from the front on this side now there's a definite ridge down there and there's a, there's a wee bit of height there so I'll do the same on the other side I did bring myself a glass of water up to drink uh, when I was doing this because my throat's really dry today. But while I was making up slip, I was crunching up dry bit of um, dry bit of clay to make the slip, and I had the slip, the the glass, the mug of slip, right beside my glass of water. So you can guess by accident I put the clay into my glass of water. So when we stop, um. At the one hour point, I left on get the glass of water. So I'm putting this on this at this side that gets blended to nothing. And it's very important. There's a very straight line, and then it gets blended in. So we want to look at the front and make sure we've got the same height. just a little bit too much volume in the centre there. It's fairly flat in there. So I'm just checking from the front that they're the same. Good. Got to come over there. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to give it a wee bit of a pinch in. Where I'm going to pinch is, see where the nostrils are here? You want to be pinching about there on both sides. Just to bring it in a little. So that comes in a little, you can see. It comes in a little there and then goes out round the mouth. I mean, you know, when this is dried a wee bit more we can work at getting a wee bit of texture on this, but it should be fine. Okay, I'm going to give it a wee pinch in a second. So I'm just going to get, I like to have a diagonal line from the inner eye to this part of the nostril, and from the outer eye. Just above the nostril. And do you see by doing that there's a there's a almost like a V shaped section in here. I want to get a wee bit extra clay in there. I know that this is going to be the lowest point and that the clay will rise again and the muscle around the nostril. So I need a wee bit here. I think I've got the trim in the end.
Just by doing that diagonal line, I was able to tell tell that I'd made the nostril too big. So I just need to do to go to go this way with with the, the line. So I see my draw this almost creates like an X. There and there, I need a fuller area here. This will be the lowest. I take the most away here and leave it away here. And this will start to rise up around the, the nostril. What I want to do now is just put a, I think I'll put the eyeball in and then we'll fill this area out. The other thing to think about is uh, with doggies, because there's so much texture over the top, um, it can re work really well with donkeys if you don't actually put an eyeball in. If you just, you know, create a hole and um, leave it in shadow. But uh, regardless, you put, you know, from the template where your eye goes, you can put your template against it again and just press through your template. So if you press through a circular hole for the eyeball, if you think of that coming down from that edge towards the nostril, and then this one will come up. Okay. Well, let me do one side to the other. So I'm just checking they're all the same. So I'll do them all and then up, down, down, up, up. Up, down. Again, eyeballs are optional. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a small ball. Very cubic. And then, the track now. I'll just cut that out. Um, the one that I'll, the demonstration I'll do tomorrow is probably more aimed at children, so it'll be a simplified version of this. And then just take your paintbrush and blend it in. Okay, so I just need two tiny wee bits of clay and it all just in that. Do you remember we made the X? Just in that full area of the X. So, just a wee little puddle. And to be honest, you could probably get away without doing this. Um, I'm just blending that up to the corner of the eye. Yeah. Um, 
So let me install that the to guide you into the shape. Side. Slightly better size of the bit. I needed to trim a wee bit off the the other side because I just left it too big for the client. Okay, so now I'm going to do that in a little bit of black while I'm uh, trimming off to I'm just get my hands on the tiny We've created almost um, like a back to front six. Try to use the size of your eye as a guide to making the nostril, to make them a sort of similar size. Um, unfortunately, I started off without getting too enthusiastic and made my nostril too big. So you want it to be on the same top of the nostril to be line up with the corner of the eye and the bottom to line up with the corner of the eye there. So that's the space it has to fit into. Okay. So I have just I have just rolled it a little bit because I am quite thin and I'll just put that around where the nostril is. Kind of back to front C here, my guys in the dry, and then just pat it and blend it in. So once that's dry, I can uh, shape it a little better. I'm just doing the same on the other side. Again, remind myself that from the corner of the eye down, it can't go any further down than the corner of the eye. So the, those are my limits. Okay, so now um, with a straight edge toe, I'm going to put the mouth in, the line of the mouth. I'm putting that line of the mouth in, and that lets me know that I can use a toe like this. 
I'm not gonna do it this time. It is easy to pick it up at this stage when you're working with the mouth. And that's the reason why I get you to make the head and neck separately and then we're gonna join them all. Well there's other benefits to that as well when it comes to the size and the clothes. So you want that lower lip to be, and that corner to be narrower. Again, you can add your, put your template over the top and just check you've still got the correct shape going on there. Just need to uh, and that's really important with the mouth that your line here you take it straight across. And then Do the process to stick that lower lip further back. The template will also guide you to how far back to tape the mouth. So from beneath it, I want to I'm looking at the mouth. The mouth should be. You know, the mouth should finish in the same place. Just now the chin. You can just fill the line in so I can do this piece. Nice and easy. Okay. That's it. I was going to say I'll do even more work to the nose, but I'll just give it a wee minute. And then we'll come back in. Because I've added a wee bit of crayon. If, you're go if you go to work at something and it's really soft and squidgy, leave it. You leave it for even 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You'll be surprised how much it has dried out a wee bit more for you. I'm just looking from the front and I want to see if the nostrils are the same height. Oh, I think you're very worried like a wee donkey. <laughs> the angle of the, if you think of that triangle above the head, can affect the donkey's personality. Um, so um, I'm just going to drop that down a wee bit so he doesn't look quite so worried on his own. aside from now and then we will just look at the we'll do a bit more work on the head when we get the ears on that's probably enough for now until we get the work on the body slightly so we'll put the head just to one side and then we'll lift the body up and start working on it next and then we'll let us arrive mm. so and what I was just checking there is 
the with the donkey the straightest bit is the top line it it's tummy it has quite a round flatly tummy so keep your straight line to the top um you can take a really spare bit of clay and just prop up the the back there where, where the clay lifts you can prop that up so um and what I'm going to use the template for here is just to mark the shoulders. You see that you see the area here is the shoulders, and that's from the front to the hind quarters where that leg attaches. I'll just make that line up there. So that has given me that line and that line and I just carry those lines across in a straight line and then down the other side or you can flip your template over and just check that they line up So this piece of clay is about five centimeters thick. Okay. So uh, we're going to bring this I'll show you this to the round board we've got to do here. I'll draw it on. So we will put a center line down our center line roughly. Center line down the center line. Um, you know, this is the hind quarters and these are the shoulders. So from the hind quarters, it's going to narrow into the body and then symmetrically from above. It's going to narrow slightly, but it's going to have a big fat belly. And then the shoulders are the shoulders, the narrowest part. So we'll just come in a little for the shoulders. But by drawing it out on the top, it's easier to see um, where the symmetry is. So I can, you know, working from the top line, I can just take away just very roughly the excess clay. Just taking more of the shape of it. Not there. Or not there. Slightly for the shoulders. So then we know that big fat belly here, but it's narrower at the top. So we will take pretty much like the way we made a bridge of the nose. We're almost going to make a bridge of the back. Um, we'll do that with your toe. You know, checking your centre line, you can check that you're taking it away symmetrically. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push out this belly slightly um, by putting your knife in between the the line for the shoulders and the line for the hindquarters. We are going to cut um, an area there. Just try to make the knife in. Just right. start pushing out gently. Now you don't want to push right through, but hopefully you can see how there is a bridge for the the back of the the back of the back, and then we'll just push out into those ribs, and that goes out round and then back in again. Do the same for the other side. Um, we don't want to push out the shoulders, so we'll put a thumb to kind of guard to hold those shoulders in. Okay. Okay. So and then we'll turn it to the the back view or the maybe the top looking down, and then get your symmetry back in. So I've pushed out too much this side, 
Ale to bym na rynku. Tak, to dlaczego? But you want it to. And with donkeys too, it's almost like they have this big water balloon of the belly hanging off the, the spine. So the, there's a, a force of gravity on the, the tummy that I always have like a diagonal plane and then this big fat tummy and then it's going to go in. Let's give it a look. So I'll just go up in that the tummy. And the tummy does go up all here. Oh, do we not try behind the shoulders? Same on the side, do we not try? Here, yeah. okay. the ankle around, and the shoulder around, and the ankle. Okay. And then create a nice big, nice big fat belly that's hanging from the spine. And then we'll just wrap up getting that a little bit more symmetrical. Now obviously if you're working at home, you'll take much longer about this and just get that. And this is a hind quarter, so we could start now sloping this, taking a wee bit, trimming a wee bit off the back, just bringing the, the hind quarters in. There's no meat exactly, but donkeys do have quite skinny bums. Are much skinnier than horses would be, you know. Try a little collar. So, let me see the picture. So, on your template, so when you're creating the curve of the belly and the curve of the bottom, do you see the way the, 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 the underline of the belly just curves up really nicely? If you follow that curve up and just come over parallel to that curve, you're going to get the bottom. But what that's helping me with in particular is getting that height. You don't want the, the fullness of the bottom to be way down here. Donkeys have quite a pert little bottom, or quite a high little bottom. So this curve is of the belly is going to lead you up uh, to guide you for that line. So why I use that is that I'm gonna I'm going to take more of this belly and I give it up on its support. Well, from this line, if I go to the same point here, I have a parallel line to it. Well, I actually want this bottom to be about there. You need you can use the template as much as you like if you're not sure. There's a wee bit of a hand position of the hip. The hip. The hip doesn't join at the, the top of the back. The hip bone actually comes out lower down. So this area of hip bone is just like a circle around that bone. So 
Look at this diamond. Crazy. video so try to only make an hour at a time because of the video dies it's a disaster for the rest of the hour um we'll stop very briefly i'm gonna nip down and get um a glass of water and in the meantime you can look for something that is perhaps a water pot or a glass tumbler Something that's approximately seven centimeters high. Um, just if you don't have something like that, that's absolutely fine. You could just gather up your scraps of clay and you know put them in a bag and use that as your support. But it can be quite useful. I have a measure of paper in that way. So, oh, turns up, I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to use that for supporting the donkey. I have other supports, but I didn't think it would be fair for me to use one of my wooden supports when you maybe haven't um, made one. So we're going to stop very briefly there. Oh, I'm going to see what I'm going to do is I'll just take that shoulder away. I'll do more of that when I come back. Okay, we'll stop very briefly for about five, ten minutes here and um, get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or a glass of water. And if you can, find something. Um, wee cup or something about does that sound like seven centimeters? No, about seven centimeters tall to put your wee donkey body in. See you in ten minutes.